But I say unto you that ye resist not evil. For whoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if any man will sue thee at the law and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain. Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. Let's bow here for a word of prayer. Father, we bless you today. Lord, we just count it all joy, Lord, to be in your presence, and Lord, to have an opportunity, our Father, to hear your word today. Lord, you said in your word that man don't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of your mouth. You are our bread of life. Lord, you the nourishment that we are not only need, but we must have. And we thank you, Lord, that you have addicted us to the word. Oh, God, we just pray, Father God, for those that are unsaved in this congregation all over the world, Lord. We just, we lift them up right now. We pray, Father God, for those that are sick and afflicted. Thank you, Lord, for Ms. Gwen here today. And, Lord, we just continue to uh, lift up all our people that are sick, Lord, and that you'll touch them right now in, in the name of Jesus. And, oh, God, we pray, Father God, as we look in your word today. Lord, we pray that the anointing of God might be upon our ears and our eyes. Lord, that we might hear and we might see what thus saith the Lord. And Father God, we'll just give you all the praise. We'll give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says, Amen. Amen. Look at that fifth uh, uh, chapter that once again, that 38 verse. Just that, uh, that one verse in particular. Jesus said, you have heard. In other words, your teachers, okay. your teachers, Amen. your preachers mm -hmm. have taught you this. Ye have heard that has been said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say that you are not to resist Amen. the evil. Hmm? But whoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him also the other. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Uh, we've been speaking from these words. This is our uh, number seven. I think this message number seven, I believe it is, brothers. Eight. Six. Oh, no, you can't go by that because we did a part two on a couple of those. I think it's eight, though. I think it's part, num part eight there uh, in this series here. And uh, we've been using for a, a subject, praise God, God righteousness exceeds that of what we call today the acceptable Christianity. Amen. That's been our subject all the way through this series. God's righteousness, God's standard of what is right. It exceeds that of our teachers today. Amen. In other words, we've been shortchanged. Right. They were shortchanged during Christ's time. Mm -hmm. And truly today, we are being shortchanged today. Amen. We're not here the truth, the whole truth, and nothing. Well, that's what the Lord says. Hmm? Except your righteousness exceed that of your teachers today, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. The teachings of the kingdom has been diluted. It has been watered down. And all we get in is husk. No nourishment Amen. in most of what we hear in, in the church today. Amen. Now, that's what the Lord says. Amen. That's not what the pastor said. That's what the Lord says. Amen. Amen. And uh, in this chap chapter five and chapter six, Christ has been looking at different areas where the teachers have been teaching people wrongly. And he's making an effort in the Sermon on the Mount here to make that correction uh, that the scribes and the Pharisees has taught. Amen? Amen. Now, so far, so far in this, well, let, I tell you what, let's go to 20 first. Go back to verse 20 of that fifth chapter because we, we, we need to touch that one more time. I, I try to get that, bring that in on every one of these here messages here. 5 and 20, Matthew 5 and 20. Okay. Jesus says that, for I say unto you that except your righteousness, y'all got that? Amen. Except the standards that 
are said to be from God today exceed, except it exceeds that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you shall no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. So now this is what everything else that Christ says in chapter 5 and 6 spins right off of here. Amen. He's correcting. He's correcting different areas. And we're so far, we looked at a bunch of areas, haven't we? Amen. Praise God. We showed how Jesus corrected them and how, number one, I think we started out on how to treat one another. Hmm? They taught that wrong too. So Christ corrected that area. Also, uh, sexual purity. They had taught that wrong, that sex is only from the physical standpoint. But you can have sex in your mind. And Jesus said, when you're having sex in your mind, I see it. And you're wrong for doing that. So Jesus made it a little bit more harder. Because hmm? a lot of people would say, well, I ain't never done that. Well, Christ can find some areas, some nooks and some crannies that you have violated. Then we went to uh, divorce. Uh, we showed you uh, 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 on the subject of divorce, uh, the difference between the teaching of our teachers and their teachers during that time and what constitutes true divorce. Christ clarified that very well, didn't he? Amen. And then we looked at uh, 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 taking of oath and swearing the last time. How important it is that we be careful what we say. What you promise God Mm, be very careful because God will hold you to it. Let your yea be yea and let your nay be nay. It's yes or no. Don't go elaborating. The old folks used to say when, the, when a, somebody in the church was talking a lot, she lied. <laughs> Anybody talk that much got to be lying. So the, the Lord just says, basically, uh, don't talk so much because you can get yourself in trouble. Let your yea be yea and let your nay be nay. Whatever is more than, than these coming of evil. So now the Lord showed us how uh, our teachers had, uh, have taught us wrong in all of these areas. Amen? Amen. Praise God. But now today uh, we're looking at another area that uh, we have been wrongly taught. Amen. And that's in the area of retaliation. Mm. Taking revenge. Getting evil. You heard it said in old time, an eye for an eye. But I say unto you, resist not evil. Oh, boy, this is amazing, isn't it? He's correcting them concerning what they heard in the past. And we've heard a lot of things in the past, haven't we? Amen. Praise God. But he said, you heard, you heard. So he's going back to what the teachers were taught them and even what, how they interpret what Moses said. Amen. Huh? Amen. See, sometimes you, we go wrong in our interpretation. Amen. They thought that they were, were saying what Moses said because they added their two cent worth to it. And, uh, and therefore, Jesus is correcting them on their interpretation of what Moses had said. Amen? Amen. But now, before we get started, we need to find out exactly when it comes to retaliation, taking revenge, getting even. Okay. What did Moses say? Right. Hmm? Let's look at Exodus 21. Y'all going to stay with me this morning? Amen. What did Moses say that they done misinterpreted and Christ had to straighten those teachers out? In those days, Exodus 21, what did Moses teach concerning retaliation, Amen. getting even, mm -hmm. hmm, revenge? What did he teach? Well, uh, Exodus 21 and 23, 21 and 23. Look at that. Uh, he says, if any mischief follow, then thou shalt give life for life. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, and foot for foot, burnings for burnings, wounds for wounds, stripes for stripes. That's what Moses taught. Amen? Amen. What else did he teach about retaliation, getting even, revenge, vengeance? 
taking vengeance. What else? Leviticus 24. Look with me now. Because now, this is what the, the, the Pharisees, the scribes and the Pharisees, they said that they were teaching what Moses taught. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And Christ is correcting them uh, in this era, this new era. <laughs> Amen. Leviticus 24. Look with me. Praise God. Don't take my word for it. I won't take yours. Amen. And I don't, need, I, don't, I don't expect you to take mine. Amen. Look for yourself. Amen. Leviticus 24 and look at 17 there. And he says in verse 17, he that killeth any man shall surely put be put to death. He that killeth a beast, he got to make it good. Beast for beast. And if any man cause a blemish in his neighbor as he hath done, so shall it be done to him. Hmm? Breach for breach, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, as he hath, hath caused a blemish in a man, so shall it be done to him again. Is that clear? Hmm? Well, let's look at one more then, one more. Look at Deuteronomy. Hmm? What did Moses teach? Since the scribes and the Pharisees of Christ's time said they were only saying what Moses said. Hmm? But Jesus had to correct them. Amen. So what did Moses say that they uh, misinterpreted? Hmm? <laughs> Look at Deuteronomy 19, 19, 19, 19. Then shall you do unto him as he had thought to have done unto his brother. <laughs> so shall thou put away evil, evil away from among you. And those which remain shall hear and fear and shall henceforth commit no more any such evil among you. And that I shall not pity, but life shall go for life. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, and foot for foot. Hmm? So Jesus come along and say, you have heard that it been said. Hmm? Eye for an eye and a tooth. For a tooth. But I say unto you, resist not evil. Hmm? Well, what did Moses really teach here about retaliation? Well, he had a dilemma, just like he had in other cases. Divorce was rampant, Amen. sexual impurity was rampant. Hmm? So he saw the word from God to quell, to quiet, Amen. the unrest. So God told him to put judges on the court, in a court. Mm -hmm. And rather than having a Wild West shootout, right. you kill my dog and I burn your house down. Mm -hmm. hmm? Rather than that kind of retaliation taking place, let the judges meet out judgment. Hmm? If he killed your dog, then you kill his dog. You got to kill his wife. But sometimes anger don't have no restrictions. You only slap me. I shouldn't stomp you. But human nature without God. Oh, y'all gonna help me with this, ain't you? Human nature without the restraints of the Holy Spirit Amen. knows no barriers, Amen. knows no stopping yes. point. So God had Moses to, to, to put judges on the court, and, and all matters had to come to the judge. In other words, somebody wronged you, you don't take matters into your own hands. You were commanded by God to bring it to the court. Let the court hear your complaint, and they will determine what the judgment might be. Oh, let me tell you something. You got to have a court, y'all. You got to have the police. Huh? Get rid of police. Lord, have mercy. Y'all help me with this. Well, what did God tell Moses? Uh, set up a court. Here are the complaints, and then let the court, the judges, the one that God has chosen, the men that have wisdom from God, let them be the ones that make the decisions what's going to be the, the punishment. 
Mm -hmm. And don't take the law into your own hand. Because if you do that, we got chaos. Mm -hmm. Can you see it today? Can you see it today? It's amazing how this word is alive. <laughs> Somebody shout glory to God. And the punishment that they mete out has to equal the crime. It cannot exceed the crime. I slapped you, you slapped me. But don't take it out on my wife. Don't burn the man's house down, Daryl. I know you mad. <laughs> Hold that thing in, man. <laughs> Y'all go help me with this here. The punishment could not exceed the crime. It's got to be equal. Eye for eye. Two for two. Burning for burning. Dog for dog, hand for hand, whatever. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. Hmm? Life for life. Capital punishment was okay. Okay. That's what he said. Amen. You take a man's life, you forfeit Amen. your life. Amen. That was the Bible. Amen. Hmm? Mmm. What well, pastor that was yesterday? We were, we, people weren't as intelligent as they are today. <laughs> they didn't have degrees, and you know, people are so. This is a modern age, pal. Oh, but have they changed on the inside? Have people really changed on the inside? Capital the punishment was permitted during that time. Amen. Why would God permit capital punishment, life for life? Because in Deuteronomy 19.20, look at it one more time. Deuteronomy 19.20, look at that one more time. Why would God do that? Hmm? He said if you... Uh, Give life for life in that in the, in the uh, preceding verses, 17, 18. Then shall you do unto him as he hath thought to have done unto his brother. So shall I put away evil from among you. Mm -hmm. He said it's a deterrent. Amen. Look at that. Look at that next verse, 20. And those which remain shall hear and fear. They hear and fear. All right. And shall henceforth commit no more any such evil among you. Right. That I shall not pity. Yeah. Life for life. Amen. Eye for eye, right. tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. Amen. Am I reading it? Amen. And this will deter crime. They will fear when they see it. But the intelligent people today, oh, that's so barbaric, isn't it? We are modern people. <laughs> That's barbaric. It wasn't barbaric to God. He said, when people see that if you take a life, they lose a life. They'll fear. They'll think twice. Now, God said that. I didn't say that. But the intelligence today. We're better than that. <laughs> Cruel punishment. <laughs> the Lord sits in the heaven and he laughs at us. We're so sophisticated. So we feed them and we house them and we feed them for the rest of their life and learn them how to be better criminals than they were before they went in there. <laughs> but we're smart, aren't we, huh? Uh, but God gave Moses these instructions because of the chaos. Why, why, wish? No, no restrictions. And God gave him these instructions about retaliation, taking revenge, Amen. taking the law into your own hand is destructive to society. But do we see it today? People taking the law into their own hands because there are no judges. It's amazing how what happened yesterday seemed to happen today. 
It's amazing how relevant God's word, how alive God's word is. When there are no judges that are, are living for God and, and hear, listening to God, then they let the people do. Mm -hmm. When there's no indwelling of the Holy Spirit in people, you got to have some laws. Now us, when we're saved and born again, we got a law. I got something inside of me that restrains me. The saved people, we got the law of Christ in us. We got the Holy Spirit in us. It ain't going to let me kill nobody. It ain't going to let me do these things. But now all of us ain't saved. Am I right about that? So they need some restraints. They need some restrictions. Or else we're going to have a Wild West shootout. Y'all don't want to hear me today, do you? We, we might have to do a part two on this because I know I'm... I don't know why I'm so long winded. Why am I so long winded? Praise God. Amen. The desire to take revenge can be very, very widespread when there's nothing on the inside of you. And even when we're saved, we have to check ourselves. If I have to check myself, uh, when somebody comes and slap me, what about the man ain't got no Holy Ghost in him? Come on, y'all, help me with this now. What about the one ain't got no restraints in him? Hmm? It's just natural. It's natural for us. When somebody do us wrong, hit us, and, or do something to our family, it's natural. Huh? It's natural. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Don't stop now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Pastor, somebody trying to steal something off your car. Now, I should have stayed in the house. My neighbor called me, saw somebody in my yard. I should have stayed in the house. But I jumped and got my hog leg. And I was outdoors in my PJ before I knew it. And started down the street. He jumped, he jumped the fence and I jumped with him. And got down the street in my pajamas. The Lord said, fool, you got your pajamas on out here. And the people looking at the preacher out here. <laughs> Get you, go back home, please. How many of y'all understand what I'm saying? But it's, it's only natural that when somebody wrong us, we want to retaliate. We want some revenge. Am I right about that? Even when we're saved. But just think about when there's no salvation. There's no Holy Ghost inside of you. There's no restraints there. You better have a police. I don't want to live in this world without a police. But they kicking that around, aren't they? Aren't they kicking that around? Oh, somebody hit me with this. But he was so, Moses was just trying to restore law and order. That's why he went to God and God told him, eye for eye, two for two. Got to have some more. God is the order. We talked about it. God is the God of order. God demands that we live orderly and orderly life in an orderly society. But everybody is not saved. Amen? Yeah. When there's no Holy Spirit, the wild animal, I believe the wild animal come out of us. Amen. Amen. We all got a little wild animal in us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm? Yeah. You don't know yourself. Amen. Really, we don't. Have you ever surprised yourself? Yes. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> With some of the things we've done. Amen? <laughs> but... They needed judges to make decisions Amen. so that they wouldn't be extreme in their retaliation. Amen. Yes, if you're wrong, Moses said, bring it to us Amen. and let us handle it for you. And we'll make sure there ain't no overkill here. Amen. 
You don't exceed what's been done to you. Eye for an eye, two for two. Huh? Don't go beyond that. Hmm? Stole your dog and you done burned the man's house down. <laughs> is, that, is that a little bit extreme, brothers? <laughs> but now, the scribes and the Pharisees taught that you didn't need the judges. They put the judges away. They got rid of the judges because they saw an opportunity, as always, to make a little side money. All right. They taught that it was if, if somebody do something to you, you got a right to go back at them. Seems like they're teaching something like that today. Amen. Hmm? Don't need the judges. Don't need a mediator here. Just if you've been wrong, go get them. Now, but what they did say, though, is that just let it be eye for an eye, though. Two for two. Don't, don't, don't hurt them too bad. But what's the control you mean when I'm mad like that? What's the control mean? When you done killed my rock waller and all I got to kill is a poodle. What you think I'll stop there? You think your poodle are equal to my rock waller? I got to do some more damage here. I'll be all upset what I'm saying. But the, but the scribes and the Pharisees added to as they always have. See, that's the problem today. We add to God's Amen. word. And we take away from God's word. Hmm? Same people, same, same thing. We're doing it today. Huh? They said no judges, no polices, no military, no nothing. That's what they said today. Hmm? Because people are better than that. I don't think so. If you ain't saved, if you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, the restraining power of the Holy Spirit in you, Melvin, you don't know what you'll do. Have you ever done things that you're ashamed of? You ain't told nobody? But don't tell nobody. God knows about it. Amen. Just make sure you repent of it. That's all. Just, just don't, 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 don't shock us in here. Don't shock us in here. How many of y'all understand what I'm saying? But I think we all have been there. We have done things to are ashamed of. And, and, and then we, can, we saw how, how, how evil we can really be. Amen. Without God. Amen. Without the Holy Spirit in us. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. Whew. Scribes and the Pharisees, you have heard. And he's basically talking about them when he says, you have heard. Mm -hmm. They decided that we didn't need the, the judges. People could take it in their own hand as long as they don't over exceed the eye for the eye and the tooth for the two. But that's not what God says. Hmm? I meant to say man there. <laughs> well, now, what did Jesus teach? Now, we don't look at the Moses. We didn't... Look at the scribe. Well, what did Jesus teach about this stuff? Go back to five again. There. Go, go back there. But look, go, go to five and 30, uh, 40 there. He said, but I say unto you, huh, that you resist not evil. Is that what Christ says? Mm -mm. You mean let him slap me, Lord? <laughs> let him steal my dog? Mm? Turn the other cheek? You know what Jesus said? That's exactly what he said. Huh? He said, if any man sue thee at the law, take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. Whoever compel thee to go a mile, go with him two miles. Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow, turn thee not away. Resist not evil. Praise God. This is a, this is a controversial scripture right here, but I said, just a little mouthful right here. People have, people have kicked this thing around, they kicked this can around. Oh, you mean let him slap me? <laughs> hmm? See, Jesus came to teach the spirit of the law, yes. not yes. the letter. Yes. Keep that in mind. Now, we, it's on every, everything we have told you that they, he, he refuted. They were doing a natural thing, but a natural man does a natural thing. He don't know nothing else to do but a natural thing. Am I right about that? Amen. But 
Christ was teaching the spirit of that situation. Hmm? The spirit and not the law. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I say unto you, is that what he said right here? Resist not. Who is he talking to? Who is he talking to? The people that gathered around the mount. Amen. The meek. Blessed are the meek. Who is he talking to? Okay. He don't expect natural folks to be able to do this. Amen. You can't do it. He's talking to the, the meek. Is that what he said? Blessed are the meek. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are they that mourn. Is that what he said? Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness. They shall be what? Who is he talking to? He's talking to believers. He don't expect the world to do this. He don't. He know they can't. So he wants you to have some polices for them. <laughs> you better have some police eh, for them. Y'all better help me with this here. Huh? We are target. Believers are target. He's talking to believers only, the saved, and not those that are not say. But they said, we don't need no polices no more. Yeah. Oh, they're so brilliant, aren't they? Ain't they, aren't they brilliant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, somebody shout glory to God. Yeah. Resist not evil. That's what he says. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't take this literally, my brothers. Right. Don't take it literally. It's a spiritual thing here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if everybody was this humble, we wouldn't really need no police. All right. All right. If I let you take my dog and all I do is say, thank you, Lord, he just took my dog. <laughs> <laughs> don't call the police. Don't need no police. Don't need no judges. We don't need nothing. Is that right? Huh? But it ain't like that today. We don't live in that kind of world. Amen. Do we, brothers? We need the police. We need the military. Their country's just waiting right now. All this faction in the United States, Red China is just looking at us. Yes, yes. Russia looking at us. Waiting for a weakness to the point of weakness in this country where they can swoop down on us. But yet idiots here saying we don't need no police. Ooh, we hmm? resist not evil. Hmm? Don't punish nobody. I mean, I know he stole, he committed a crime. But just leave him alone. He meant well. She meant well. Hmm? He's talking to believers, though. Y'all keep that in mind. Now, he's not talking to the unsaved. The unsaved cannot do this, Melvin. Huh? But he expect us with Christ living in us, the power of God living in me. He expect me to live to a higher standard. We are kingdom children. We are children of the kingdom. He expect us. I give you power. I give you power. Power. Yes, sir. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. The natural man not expected to live this kind of life. He can't do it, brothers. He's not expected. He's not born again. Am I right about that? He's not indwelt by the power of the Holy Spirit, so he can't do it. So therefore, they're still under the law. They still need a police. They still need a judge. They still need a death penalty. We don't need it. I don't need it. But I ain't here by myself. I'm not in the world by myself. There's other folks in the world. You see how you can get so smart until you become ignorant? Ooh, eye for an eye. Moses said, an eye for an eye. So they still under that. Two for a two. They still under that. Capital point. They still under that. Is that right? Still got murder in their hearts. Amen. Hmm? 
to control the spirit of retaliation and revenge and getting even we need the law. I ain't going to hurt nobody, Rose, if I can help it. Amen. Amen. Only way I'm going to hurt somebody, I got to try to get them off me. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 I'll protect my family. Amen. We will do that. That's only natural to have. If somebody come against me and my family naturally, we will do what we have to do. But as far as anger is concerned, Amen. oh, y'all don't hear me today. We need the law Amen. to control spirits of revenge, Amen. spirits of retaliations, spirits of I'll get even with you. Amen. Don't turn your back. Okay. I'll get you when you least expect it. Y'all right. right. ain't never said that like that, have you? Yeah. You would have thought it though, have you? You would have thought it though. Come on now. <laughs> but it's a sin for believers to think it. Amen. It's a spiritual thing. Yes, Christ ain't looking at your action. He's looking at your heart. Right. What you thought to do. Yeah. What you wanted to do that you didn't do, but you wanted to do it. Yeah. Oh, y'all go help me with this here. Hmm. To maintain law in order, God gave Moses eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. Hmm? In other words, what they do to you, then the judges will judge it and the punishment will fit the crime. Right. But it shall not exceed the crime. Right. Y'all ain't getting this, are you? Oh, yeah. hmm? We need the police yes. to protect us from the savage beast yes. that's inside Amen. all of us. Amen. 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 It's just that being saved, we got a stop sign inside of us. And it all the time on red. But the unsaved ain't got no stop signs. There's nothing to stop them. If the savage beasts rise up, they're going to exercise. Oh, y'all going to hit me today, aren't you? Thank God for salvation. Thank God for being saved. Hallelujah. Look at Romans 13 quickly there. Come on, say with me now. We throw in just a minute. Look at Romans 13. Praise God. God ordained. God has ordained policemen. Amen. God ordained judges. Amen. God ordained military. That's right. Because everybody ain't got a heart to do the right thing. Right. Hmm? We got crooks everywhere. Amen. And look like they multiplying every day. Romans 13, 1. Look with me now. Don't take my word for it. Look with me. Let every soul be subject. 13 and 1, Romans. Mm -hmm. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power. Amen. The powers that you be, that be ordained of God. Amen. The police. Amen. The judges. Amen. The military. Hmm? The president. All ordained by God. Hmm? That's what I love about David, though. I love David. The Bible says he's a man after God's own heart. Hmm? And when he realized that God is sovereign, nothing happens that God don't ordain. We got, and, and Christian folks, you got to get that in your head. My people perish for ignorance. Just pure ignorance. Man, come up to David and cuss him all day long. Just, just cuss him. Just keep on cussing him. Hmm? And the guy, one of his soldiers said, King, you want me to take him out? This here, nothing, nobody cussing you like this. You want me to take him out? David said, chill out, bro. I know I got power. I know I'm the baddest thing in town. I'm the man. But leave him alone. Leave him alone. Let him curse me out. Maybe God want me to get a good curse now. Maybe, maybe I need to come down off my high horse. Maybe, I'm, maybe I think I'm too much. Maybe my spirit done got bad. Oh, y'all ain't going to hear me today, are you? 
Let every soul be subject to the higher power. There is no power but of God. The power that be are ordained of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Amen. I didn't like Saul. All right. I didn't like him, Rosie. He's a bad man. Amen. I didn't like him. He didn't like my David. Amen. Huh? But somebody come to him and say, uh, Brother King, <laughs> I did you a favor. I took Saul out. I, oh, man, I had a chance. I, 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 I had him king. And the David said, what? All right. What you say? All right. Didn't you know he was God anointed? I don't care how bad he was. I don't care who he was. I don't care how bad he treated me. Don't you know that God anointed him and God appointed him? You better not. You should not touch him. Kill him right now for touching him. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. God's people can't hate nobody. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. If there's somebody in a position of authority and you hate them right now, you better start repenting. Right. You better get on your knees because God put them there. Right. He's a God anointed. He's God appointed. He's God ordained. And you better leave him alone. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. My people perish. Yes. Ignorance. Thank you, Jesus. Ignorance. Yes. No, just because they're bad, or you don't like them, but they didn't get there, only through God putting them down. You got to respect that, Christian folks. Why use your Christianity? Whoever so therefore, look at the next verse there, uh, verse 2. Whoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God. Yes. And they that resist shall receive to themselves. Amen. You're in trouble. Yes, Listen, I'm telling you what God says. Yes. Thank you, Lord. If you reject what God is doing. Right. What do you say this morning, brother? What do you say? You said, then you say, Pastor, say that, that he's like a bulldozer sometimes. <laughs> and, and, and Rosie is like a bobcat. But we, need, we, 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 we work together, though. Work together. If, 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 if I start demolition too much, she'll, she'll pull my yank. She'll yank my chain. Huh? How many of y'all understand that? Sometimes you got to have a bulldozer in office Amen. to clean up the mess. That the bobcats might not have took care of. Right. <laughs> oh, y'all go help me with this here? Amen. Sometimes you need a tough person in office that don't back down, bad to the bone for the bad folks out here. Amen. But I love that next verse, y'all. I love that third verse. For rulers are not a terror to good work. Amen. They ain't gonna bother us. They're not going to bother the believers. Huh? As a matter of fact, they'll be for the believers. Y'all better hear me. Y'all better open your eyes up. You better open your ears up. Thank you, Lord. They won't bother us, Daryl. We for what's right. We for doing what's right. We for living and, and, and helping. We're not for her. But everybody ain't like that. Everybody in the world ain't like that. And they need a bulldozer. Oh, God. Don't throw no rocks up here now. I'm going to know it. Don't throw no rocks up here. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm just telling you the truth. Amen. Hmm? Rulers are not terror to good works, but evil. Will thou be, not be afraid of the power, respecting the power? Do that which is good, and you shall have praise. Yes, sir. We seeing the savage beast today like I've never seen before. I'm 73, y'all. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot. I was downtown when the hose was put on us. Mm -hmm. Hayes High School turned out. We turned the school out. We went downtown. I wasn't in that particular area where they were spreading that, but I was down there. Hmm? 
when Bull Connor rode that tank down through Fifth Avenue. I was down there. Hmm? I was there when the buses were integrated. And the first time I sat down beside a white man, he kicked me on the floor. Downtown in front of Woolworth on Third Avenue. I was there, y'all. I was there. Hmm? There's a savage beast in every one of us. And if God don't restrain it. Do y'all hear me today? We need some restraints. You don't know yourself. You don't really know what you would do. I'm embarrassed by some of the things I've done. I, and then I went home and said, did you really do that, son? I'm ashamed of myself. Huh? We need control. We need God to put people over us. It's hard to kick against the prick. Hmm? But how many people are kicking against the prick? Hmm? Eye for an eye, two for a tooth. Foot for a foot, hand for hand. It's what we need, that kind of policing. When we don't have salvation, Melvin. And it's just a few of us, Melvin. It's just a few of us. But we got a great God, though. We got a great God. We got a great God that can put a wall of fire around us. A wall of fire, and the enemy can't do us no harm. We're untouchable. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, you'll Until you're saved, brothers and sisters, you are under the law of Moses. Amen. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand. You are under those kind of restraints. Yes. Life for life. Yes. You kill somebody, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you forfeit your life. Amen. And that will deter, because others may see that and say, well, <laughs> I'm going to be careful. Melvin, when, when I beat you down, I'm going to ask you for it. You ain't about dead yet, are you? <laughs> if you tell me you're about dead, I'm going to let them off, you know. <laughs> Y'all hear what I'm saying today? We need, to, if you're not saved, if you don't have Christ in your heart, you don't know what you'll do. And when you get rid of the policeman, we don't know what we're going to do. Glory to God. Resist not Evil. Is that what he says? Mm -hmm. hmm? that, do he, is he meaning that I'm going to just take everything that everybody do to me? No. No, no. If your family is, if your life is in jeopardy, you ought to defend yourself. But he's talking about retaliation. When you've been wronged, somebody punked you out, John. You remember when them guys punked you out in school? My wife bought, my mama bought me a pair of tinted lenses. When tinted lenses first came out, uh, Rosie, oh, God, I, I got me a $35 pair of lenses. They were tinted. Didn't need no glass, but everybody, that's a style, you know. So I wear them tinted lenses. I had my fro all picked out. I was, I, was, I was down. I had my Wranglers on, my Johnson & Murphy wing tip on. I was down. Had my little lady on my, on my arm going to the carnival. We went to the carnival that night. Five guys walked up to me, Melvin, and said, hey, man, I like them glasses you got on. Oh, Lord. No. Oh, here we go, brother. <laughs> like them glasses you got. Could I check them out? <laughs> he put, took them off my eyes. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm going to like these. <laughs> well, y'all wonder what I did, don't you? <laughs> I said, baby, let's go. I hope you enjoyed them. <laughs> I go tell you what I did later on when I came back down there. <laughs> but, 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 but the savage beast is out. How many of y'all don't understand what we're saying? See, Christ is dealing with the spirit here. It ain't so much that. It's, it's, it's the, oh, God. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be through in a minute. I'm going to be through. 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 Let the Lord use Yes, sir. Amen. It's what you do when you feel you've been wronged. Yes. Yes. Or what you want to do. Or what you're thinking of doing. As a believer, that's what Christ. Amen. The spirit of the thing. Glory to God. Hmm? Look at that 42nd verse again. I'm going to be through in a minute, y'all. Come on, y'all. Give me, give, give me a few more minutes. 
praise God. Well, now, why, why is Christ teaching here now? Let, let's get down to the, let's bring it to the nitty gritty. Can we get down to the nitty gritty here? What is the Lord really teaching? What is the sin that he's trying to keep his children from getting involved in here? What is the thing that he's pointing to here? Look at that 42. Look at 42 again. Y'all got it? Give to him that asks thee. Y'all got it? From him that would borrow it of thee, turn not away. You know, now, now when I first looked at that, I said, Lord, you're jumping from one subject to another. Now, how can I keep up with what you're doing here? Hmm? Give to him that acts up there. You're talking about resist not evil. Now you're talking about me giving. Hmm? Give to him that acts thee from him that would borrow it from thee, turn not away. So now I got a little bit off there. Then I began to press the Lord. What is it? What, you, what, is, what are you trying to say here? Well, He's talking about when we love self so much. When we deify self. When we make self our God. Where you ain't willing to give self away. Oh, y'all, y'all go, y'all go. Come on now. Hmm? Ephesians 4 quickly. Come on, y'all. I'm, I'm going to come back to that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at Ephesians 4, 28 now. Oh, boy. Is he talking about, Pastor, giving? Look what he says in Ephesians 4, 28. Y'all got that? 4, 28, y'all. 4, 28. What is he talking about now? What is the Lord dealing with here? What is he dealing with here? Praise God. Look what he says in 4, 28. Let him that stole steal no more. Praise God. <laughs> but let him labor, working with his own hand, the thing which is good, that he may give to him that what? So am I to give to everybody when they come to me and say, hey, brother, could you give me a dime? Am I to give indiscriminately to anybody and everybody? He don't mean that, do he? He's not talking about that. Second Corinthians 8, quickly. A couple more scriptures. We're going to be doing a little bit here. Y'all all right? Y'all all right back there? <laughs> Look at 2 Corinthians 8, 13. 8, 13. He said, for I mean not that others may be eased. 8, 13, 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians. I mean not that others be eased and you be burdened, but by an equality. That now at this time your abundance may be a supply to their wants and, your, and their abundance may be a supply to your wants. And there may be what? Equality. Equality. If a man don't work, he don't what? Is that what the Bible says? So now he don't mean that you to give this whole store away. Just give away everything. Hey, uh, brother, I like this. Could I have your shoes? And you just get out your shoes and go home. But, you know, no barefooted. <laughs> no, he's talking about your attitude of holding on to self things. Sometimes we can't grow in God because we're so full of ourselves. And you don't want to give self away. You make self your God. And you can't have two gods. Hmm. What is borrowing got to do with it? Well, he's talking about self. Huh? When self is done wrong. Glory to God. See, that's what it's all about. That's why you're so mad. That's why you want to kill a man. Your God self. You protecting him, ain't you? Paul said, I die daily. Why don't you die? Why don't you want to die? Why are you protecting that scound? Because you've been, oh, you're hurting my pride. That's your self, ain't you? You want to retaliate. You want revenge because your nice put itself. <laughs> oh, y'all don't, y'all don't want to hear me today, do ya? Huh? What is Christ pointing to here that God calls self? Huh? What did he tell the rich young ruler? If you got to be my disciple, sell everything you got. Get rid of all your self things. Huh? Then you follow me. If any man ain't going to be my disciple, let him deny himself. Don't protect him. Don't protect him. He wronged me. <laughs> Shucks, I ain't got to take this. Self said, get even with him. Hmm? You protected him, ain't you? Let the scoundrel die. Turn the other cheek. Let's go turn it. You want to kick me, bro? 
<laughs> Y'all don't hear it today. <laughs> the evil is yourself. That's the competition that God has, even with the believer. You're still holding on to, I got a right. I got a right to do this. You ain't got no rights. Self ain't got no rights. Self ought to be dead. I got to protect my finances. I can't give you this. Glory to God. I can't give away myself things. Glory to God. Thank you. Lord. What is the Lord's concern? I'm just about through. Thank you, Jesus. How self reacts yeah. when he's done wrong. That's the thing. That's what it's the spirit thing. It's not the physical. It's the spirit. How do self react when self is done wrong? Now you're talking to the believers. He know we know how they act in the other folks. But how do his people react? Is your pride still standing up? Or is it dying out and self has little voice? What's Glory to God. How do we react? How do self react when God tells you to help somebody? Oh, man, I work hard for this, man. Let me tell you something, man. Man, I work all my Boy, you protecting that scout, ain't you? You protecting what self I got all these years. Oh, man, I got, I know it, yeah, man, but I worked. I worked hard. Thank you, Lord. You can't protect him. Give him up. Amen. Kill him. Yes, sir. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What is our attitude towards self? That's all he's saying. In everything we just read, retaliation, revenge, get even. Yeah. It's that self in you so large and looming that you want to go through all that to protect him. Chop your head. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Glory yes, to God. Amen. Come. Are we willing to give self away? Are we willing to give him away? Amen. Just get rid of him and let Christ reign. Yes, sir. Let the power, yes, let the power mail, let the power. Amen. Self is what blocked you from getting strong. Amen. That's what keeping a lot of us from growing. Self is in the way. Thank you, Jesus. Let him die, y'all. Quit protecting him, please. Hmm? Watchman Nee, that great, great, great yes. theologian. Yes. Amen. Watchman Nee said these words. I never understood that many years. I read this probably 20, 30 years ago. He said, never protect yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. I didn't understand what he was saying, Rosie. I didn't understand the word he was saying at that time. And I was saved. Mm -hmm. But now I know what he was talking about. Yes. Amen. Eye for an eye. Glory to two God. for a tooth. Hmm? Spirit of revenge, we see it in the streets today. Yes. Yes. And when you take the restraints away, when you start telling children, uh, time out, instead of putting that switch on their tail, you know what you're going to get? What you got in the street right now? What you got out there with them young folks right now when you don't put the switch on their tail and you keep the time out. I'm, I'm going to take your Nintendo away from you. I'm going to do that. Plus, I'm going to burn your butt up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Yes, sir. We've gotten so sophisticated today, though. We've gotten so intelligent today that we'll put God out of them. Oh, y'all help me with this here. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Yes. Yes. That's right. Thank you, Lord. The spirit of revenge, getting even, retaliation, is what Christ is trying to teach his children. There's no place in the body of Christ for hating anybody, getting even with anybody, retaliating, not among the people.
people of God. Amen. The world, we expect that. Yes. But God don't expect it out of his children. We have a higher standard. We're kingdom children. They have a higher standard of righteousness for those who are kingdom children than those that are, those that are in the world. Except your righteousness. They see that of the scribe and the Pharisees. You can enter. Glory to God. Making self our God. That's what we've done today. Hmm? Lord condemns that. Amen. Self need to die. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We need to die daily. That's what the Apostle Paul says. I die daily. He meant self. It's no more what I want. You don't know, it ain't how I feel. What you feel ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Hallelujah. Well, I feel like this, Pastor. You know, I think, oh, your thinking is messed up. Yes, your feelings are messed up. It's not what you feel. It's not what you think. It's what God says. Yes, if God says, that's it. There's nothing to add. There's nothing to take away. God knows better than you. God knows better than me. I respect what God says, not what the scholars and the theologians says. But I'm just kind of crazy like that, MJ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just got a one-track mind. Hallelujah. I just believe God. I say, I believe what the word of God says. Yes, let God be true. Let every man be a liar. Yes, sir. God is right. Everybody else is wrong. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Glory. Amen. Oh, boy. We might do a part two on this Amen. here. Can we do a part two? Amen. Amen. It's not the letter but it's the spirit Amen. not the physical it's not the external that he deals with he always deal with the spiritual the unseen thing the, that that's deep down inside of us he touches us deep don't he yes, sir. Uh, it ain't that you slept with the woman he told him it's that you thought about it Amen. you wanted to so you did it hmm We'll do a part two on this. Can we do a part two? Amen. 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 Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They got low esteem. Uh, that's what's wrong with our children. They got low selfish. That's a lie. <laughs> Ain't nobody got no low self esteem. It's because we love ourselves yeah. that we act the way we act. But the psychologists and the psychiatrists, oh, they just need a, they need, they need, they need a little, they, little, 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 oh, God. <laughs> A little boost in their self-esteem. That ain't what Jesus said. All right. Glory to God. Mm. Oh, boy. Thank you, Lord. Milton, take the bodyguard off yourself, okay? Okay. He don't need no bodyguard no more. Nobody yeah, we got we put, put, put that bodyguard around for a long time, yeah. watching what what happened to him. So you know, move the bodyguards out the way. Thank you, Lord. Thank huh? you, Jesus. Let God deal with it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let him take the blows. I know the, yes. I know some low rabbit punches coming in here. Glory Let to God. God give you the give self self need some rabbit punches. Jesus. <laughs> Every head bowed here today. Yes, <laughs> Bless your father. Lord God, we thank you today. We give you praise. We give you glory. Lord, we give you honor for the, the many blessings, Lord, that you've bestowed upon us, Lord. Father God, thank you for opening our eyes, Lord. Oh, we once was blind, but now we can see. And Lord, I thank you like the old folk used to sing long time ago. I can see so much. I can see so much what the Lord, my God, has done for me. Lord, I thank you for it right now. Now, Lord, I pray that you touch every heart here today. Touch those, Lord, that are listening out here. Uh, praise God. In the different medias today, Lord, let them realize, help them to realize, Lord, that the standards you have set for your children is that we deny ourselves. Praise God and accept Christ as our God 100%. Oh, God, we love you right now. Touch those that are unsaved, those that are here, those that are listening. Lord, there are many that are unsaved, don't know you, and the free part of the sin. Lord, touch them right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we'll give you all the praise. We'll give you all the glory. 
in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says, Amen. come on, give the Lord a hand this morning.